Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to look at the Lewis structure for chlorate ion. So uh, to understand the Lewis structure, we first need to know the number of valence electrons. Here there are three oxygen atoms, one chlorine atom and as there is a minus charge over here, it means it is accepting one more valence electron. So in total we have 26 valence electrons for this ion. Now chlorine will take the central position over here and, uh, and all the oxygen atoms will be arranged around it like this. Now each bond takes up two valence electrons so let's place a pair of valence electrons between each oxygen and chlorine atom to show a bond. Now we have already used up six valence electrons out of 26 in making these three single bonds and let's arrange the remaining electrons around atoms. Now arranging the remaining electrons around atoms you will come across the like complete octets for all atoms but this, not, this might not be the best Lewis structure for ClO3- and you might wonder why. So if you look at the formal charges over here, the chlorine atom has a charge of um, plus 2 and oxygen atoms have the charge of minus 1 which is which can be like true because it already has a minus charge over here like the minus 1 charge over here. But uh, in general chemistry we try to have a structure in which the charges are as near as 0 as possible. So we try to come up with a Lewis structure in which charges are more near to 0 and hence we can change the formation of this uh, structure a little bit. So what we are going to do is we are going to shift a pair of valence electrons from this oxygen in the center and we are going to do the same for this oxygen atom as well. Now if you look at the formal charges of chlorine and oxygen atoms, these two oxygen atoms and the chlorine atom has a charge of zero whereas this oxygen atom which is sharing just one valence electron with chlorine has a formal charge of minus one which is fine because we already have a charge of minus one over here. Now because this is an ion you have to put brackets around it and also write down the charge. So this is how you write the Lewis structure for chlorate ion in which uh, we put the brackets and we also mention the charge. I hope this video helps you to understand the Lewis structure for chlorate ion and for more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.